My name is Robert Schofling. I'm the Regional Vice President uh, working for General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Incorporated in India. Uh, General Atomics itself is a combination of uh, multiple companies uh, from the largest General Atomics Aeronautical to General Atomics Electromagnetic Systems to nuclear power. So General Atomics is very widespread and we do uh, quite a bit of work, but our focus here in India is really on the electromagnetic side and the aeronautical side. Generally on the General Atomics aeronautical side, the portfolio that we bring to India uh, revolves around our MQ-9B Sky Guardian and Sea Guardians. Uh, we're working uh, closely with the Indian government and the U.S. government to do the first ever tri-service foreign military sales procurement of weapon systems in India. Really, we're just very excited to be bringing this very capable platform to both the Indian Navy, the Indian Army, and the Indian Air Force. For the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force, it'll be the Sky Guardian. Uh, for the Indian Navy, it'll be the Sea Guardian. Both platforms are very, very similar with just slight uh, differences, but these are some of the most advanced, uh, long-range, high-altitude, unmanned aerial systems uh, and the most capable in the world today and we think it will serve the Air Force, Army and Navy very well for many many years. So as far as General Atomics is concerned um, our strategy is to uh, deliver on not only requirements but on expectations. Um, we are focused on bringing these platforms to India and having them be able to operate over land and over water and wildly exceed the Indian Armed Forces expectations. So General Atomics is very familiar with the Make in India concept. Uh, we uh, have done industrial cooperation and offset programs uh, worldwide. And we are, uh, even as of today, we're in contact with multiple Indian firms uh, to look at industrial cooperation and how we can uh, build uh, parts of the airplane here in India, how we can uh, provide uh, jobs for Indians, whether it's through uh, services or training um, or helping to ensure that we can disseminate the information uh, cleanly to all the agencies that need it uh, in India. Pleasure to talk to you today. Uh, we look forward to working with uh, India and the Indian Armed Services for many, many years to come.